This is Dr. Lou Sella, Doctor of Sport and Performance Psychology. And look, running the trap out of flex, it's going to solve you a lot of problems, especially against triple stack defenses. It never fails because every camp I go to and we run trap on a spread, the receivers are out wide against a triple stack. And this guy folds inside on the B back. What ends up happening is the tackle is supposed to veer into him. But what happens is if he folds in late after the tackle, which isn't really going to happen in a high school game. I mean, it could, but somebody's got to play the quarterback in the pitch. And he folds in late after the tackle comes behind him and comes underneath the tackle to be back. I always get the, who's blocking that guy? So I'm going to tell you this right now. For those of you who have dealt with the same thing, this, this is why I love running the entire offense out of flex. You get into flex because now you use the receiver to block down on the high school area, have him get his left knee through the crotch, left hand to the stomach, four short bound steps. So if he folds late, you can account for him. Tackle veers to the mic, guards down with his left knee, left forearm, four short bound steps on the zero. Center blocks back to cancel the A-gap through the three-tech, even if there is no three-tech. Guard is going to open flat, trap, get his helmet to the left, strike with the right forearm, and drive the player out of bounds. He's trapping the first guy from a two-tech out. Backside tackle blocks the spine of the center. Backside receiver sprints to the goalpost. Place that A-back arcs. If this guy runs over the top of the receiver, he'll arc him. Otherwise, he'll end up on the corner. Backset A back leaves at the snap and runs the pitch. Quarterback takes the snap, jumps, plays side, and points the ball over to center. B back sprints through the ball, sprints through the play side, hip of the guard, sprints through the end zone. Quarterback takes two steps back and then turns his belly button to the line of scrimmage, carries out the fake. That you do that to get the backers to miss fit. So that's flex trap versus a triple stack. Solves the problem about the late folding mic. <sighs> I know realistically the game is not going to happen. So somebody's got to play the quarterback. Somebody's got to play the pitch. But you get tired of answering that question all the time about who's got him. So there you go. You can also run this out of heavy as well. But it's it's not as clean. And it's, you know, sometimes the unbalance, it actually makes it worse. But you can, and Air Force has, but flex... Solves a lot of problems. Coaches, you want to win big in 2025, pick up the phone, call me right now. 570-332-0265. 570-332-0265. And go to tripleobjectfootball.com slash testimonials where you can see all the success stories that come from the camps and the academy. And I'll see you later.